For the first time since the Sarasota County School District decided to move full steam ahead with a district police force, district leaders sat down with local law enforcement to hash out security plans for the upcoming school year. Now, some last minute changes, and ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is at the landings tonight to explain. Jess. It was back in March that state lawmakers passed the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act, requiring that all Florida schools have an armed officer in them. It's been a bit chaotic for local districts since then. Sarasota County Schools deciding to go with a district police force. But up until now, it seemed that local law enforcement and the district weren't on the same page. But that has all changed. We need that commitment from you that you're going to secure those uh, Munchie schools today. Going into Tuesday's meeting, the district's plan was to hire a district police chief, sergeant, and 21 officers to staff all Sarasota County elementary schools before August. But it's an aggressive timeline, and Superintendent Dr. Todd Bowden knows that. My question to you is, if we fall short, when do you need notification? Certainly you don't want to hear from me on August 12th that I need coverage at a school on the 13th. Sarasota Police Chief Bernadette DePino, Northport Interim Chief Chris Morales, and Sheriff Tom Knight all agreed. They should have been notified months ago. And I think it's important for the district to understand that your decisions affect my patrols within the community itself. So if I have to backfill, I'm pulling deputies out of zones and communities and neighborhoods and leaving them unstaffed because the children are going to come first to us in law enforcement. That's how SRO staffing has worked up until this point. And because deputies were working extra days and losing days off and time to rest, sometimes Sheriff Knight couldn't find anyone to staff the schools. Of the 39 days that we staffed off duty last year after spring break, there were 17 instances when we could not get deputies to work off duty in the schools. Superintendent Bowden couldn't promise Sheriff Knight or any other local leader of the police departments that the district would have all 21 officers hired and trained for the start of the school year in August. That's the goal, but again, the timeline is tight. A chief and sergeant are expected to be hired this week. Officers will come after. I anticipate we'll have some officers ready to start the year. Others will come online throughout the year. All entities decided the district needs a better plan B. So they decided to flip the plan. The district and local law enforcement are now planning on having law enforcement officers in every school at the start of the year in case the district hasn't hired enough officers yet. It's going to be a huge burden on us, um, but I can't say no to securing children. It will create a service disruption potentially out in communities and neighborhoods. When you take a green and white car out of a neighborhood and put it on a school campus, you're losing that level of service. Then, if district officers are ready, they'll take over for local law enforcement. This gives law enforcement time to get temporary SROs in order and gives the district time to ensure their officers are properly trained. The stress to me was never that we were going to compromise our standards. We were never going to hire somebody that we didn't think was a, a great fit. It was the what if scenario. What I didn't want to do is to call uh, the sheriff on the 7th of August and say, hey, I need you to cover a school on the 13th. I didn't think that was fair to him. Uh, and so instead of us assuming it's going to be our officer, we're going to operate under the assumption it's going to come from one of our law enforcement partners, which really kind of just dials down the stress on our behalf. Even though the, the, the superintendent was very aggressive in his mannerisms and comments about not needing the sheriff's office services, um, I answer to the community, not to the superintendent. And I'm going to make sure the elementary schools are safe. Cost was left out of today's conversation. Superintendent Bowden said he planned on calling each law enforcement agency today to schedule a meeting with them so that they could talk about cost. Because if these school resource officers are in Sarasota County schools come August 13th, that's something they're going to have to pay for. Reporting in Sarasota, Jess Dowdrake, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.